Nu știu cât o să am, dar asta e. Încercăm să intru, că oricum mai târziu să vedem. Hello everyone, I'm Raul and welcome back to my live drawing lessons. Today we're talking about the jewelries and especially for Grassela. As you can see, we set the reference photo in the front of us so we can draw this part of the Grassela, whatever, how long we can go with this. Uh, as you know already, this is a lesson for how to draw a myself portrait using only one pencil. So I have a Faber-Castell 9000 pencil and I'm using 8B and to start the lesson we need to do the outline so we have the Brasilia design here we need to do the same design on our paper we're starting with outlines and we're looking where the outlines are a bit dark as you can see we have to deal with light outlines and also dark one so we can do the dark one very easy even by pressing with a pencil of course it will be more easy to do this design of the Brasilia with a mechanical pencil for example 03 lead or 05 but as I promised guys, this is a portrait using only one pencil, which is about 8B grade. So we're going further with 8B grade. As you know already, my tips how to use uh, 8B grade as a mechanical pencil, you know already. But we do again today because we need to do for a few parts for the outlines. This is a Figaro Brasla design and we do 3131 rings so let me show you how to transform your pencil into the mechanical pencil i have 8b grade and it's sharp by manual sharpener i'm using there went manual sharpener and as you can see is different type of sharpie because it's sharpening longer yeah so now I will show you my way to transform this pencil into mechanical pencil sharp as a needle. I'm using this part of the nail polish pad and I just move the top side of the pencil over and I'm looking to sharp the top sharp as a needle. You will see later how useful can be this part of the pencil sharp very well. As you can see, the top become very sharp now. Exactly what we're looking for. I will clean the top side of the pencil with a piece of toilet paper. I make sure I don't have any graphite, extra graphite, when I'm touching with the hand. And voila, we have a very good sharp pencil as a needle. This I will show you how useful can be to outlining light. For example, we need to do the design of the rings. And look at that, I can go also very light for the first time of the outlining which is very important. If you're a beginner and if you love to work by my techniques, uh, my advice is to work always light when you do the outlines and if you're happy with the design made you can come in with the pressure on the pencil
For the curves line, I'm going very light because as you can see, this is a part where the skin is and we need just a little bit shadows. We are adding the shadows later. Remember guys, if you're looking to draw realistic, we need to find the perfect outlines and you will see later how easy we can carry on. If we have the perfect outlining, everything is going well till the end. In this lesson, we're not using too many suppliers. I will show you only a pencil, blending stump, and eraser. Three suppliers, we can design a very realistic bracelet. During the process with the outlines, I want to take a little bit of time to thank you very much to everyone for support my TikTok page. I'm now over the 9K and still growing, so big thank you for that. Uh, I want to ask you guys to follow also on my Instagram and Facebook group. Passion for Art is my group. And if you go on my YouTube channel in the description, you can find on the bottom page all the links where you can support me. Of course, next year we open new commissions, so I'll be ready again for the new round to draw. If you think about it, to give a gift to someone, I'm here and I will start again for the commissions. We're going very well and light with the outlines to designing the bracelet, but you will see later how nice design we can give. And also I will show you how to do this very shiny, same as reference photo.
As you can see from the halfway, the bracelet is changing the direction, it's going curve after the hand. We will stop here for a while with this part of the bracelet and I will do myself the bottom side and we carry on with the designing of the bracelet. Now we need to add again the outlines but now we're looking for the dark tone outline so look at that on this side where the shadow is we add a little bit pressure on the pencil so we're starting from the bottom of course we're looking for gentle pressure not very very hard press on the pencil But because it's about the dark tone and the shadows, we're coming to do them now. You will see if we do this now, uh, the Brasola design automatically is coming to life. As you can see where we're outlining the position of the pencil is normal. Keep firm the pencil in your arm. Make sure you're going slowly in progress.
If your pencil need to be resharp again, don't hesitate and resharp it again. If you think you can go with this with till the end, it's fine. As you can see, on the top side, the shadow become lighter, not very dark as the bottom is, so we need to change the pressure on the pencil. Now we need to release the pressure. And we're looking to go light. As you can see, I'm looking at the reference photo and everywhere where is dark tone. When it's about the outlining, I do them now. As you can see, we're working always on a high level, guys, and uh, I will teach you how to work very realistic. If you follow my tips and techniques, you will upgrade your drawing skill, as I like to do always when I do a portrait. Now I'm coming to add a little bit pressure on the outside part of the shadow, but not very hard press on the pencil is not very dark, we're going light because we're working with blending stone to do the shadow of the skin.
let's talk about the design. We're starting to do design, and to do this, I'm gonna reshot again this top side of the pencil. As I told you guys, we need to work very light, so you can work with 8B grade uh, light only if you resharp again. So I keep on the nail polish pad. As you can see, I just rotate a little bit the pencil. And also, as you can see, I have a graphite powder. I can use just in case if I need for dark tone, for shadows, with the small brushes. Not today, because I don't need graphite powder today. Today I need only the pencil. After I clean my pencil, I'm coming to show you how to do the design using this pencil, blending stone, and for the highlights we're using Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. So I have very good sharp pencil as you can see as a needle, which is good, like mechanical pencil. But also we need very good sharp blending stump and also clean. My way to do is I'm using this nail polish. Same small piece. It's better than sandpaper. For me it's very helpful. I will show you how to sharp blending stump. As you can see I keep always as a pencil bent in my palm. And with a small movement I rotate the blending stump. As you can see, all the part with the graphite is going on the pad. And the blending stump is sharpening. I'm using number one because I'm working with small parts. Of course, I'm using toilet paper to clean blending stump, same as the pencil. So through my fingers, that's the best way. Make sure you always have a good clean suppliers when you're working with. Now I'm following the reference photo and I'm going to shadowing the outside part, which is preparing for the skin. With small circles, I'm going over the outline. As you can see, the outline become blurred which is good, we can prepare now for the skin. What I'm trying to do now, actually, I'm taking graphite from dark tone and I'm pushing into the lighter area. Now we're coming to add the shadows inside, and as you can see, this is a bigger, so we're using also uh, the pencil with the blending stone together. Now we build the designs. As you can see, we have a little bit shadows on the wrestler, so we're going very light with dots and lines, small, small dots and small lines. Of 
course, as I told you before, it's better to work with mechanical pencil if you have. But as I told you guys, these are the lessons to work with only with 8B gray. So this is the technique to work with 8B gray. Now I'm coming to blend this. As you can see, we need to work very gentle inside because we're working with small parts. And even if it's on A3 size paper, it's still small parts to draw. So we need to be careful, this is about the detailing. Same on the shadows when we started. As you can see, the shadow on the top side of the bracella is darker and we're going and we need to change the pressure of the pencil during the process because we need to reduce the color of the graphite. And now again, we're using small circles. We have one, two, three rings without shadows, only a little bit the big one. And now we need to add the pencil to draw also the shadow. So let's see how to draw the shadow. We're coming with blending stone first on the bottom side If it's very light tone of the shadow, I'm using only blending stump, as you can see. I don't need the pencil here. Don't forget, blending stump always will have a little bit graphite if you're working with. Now it's time to do the shadows inside of the rings and as you can see we need to do we need to build a little bit from the skin. We're starting from the top side and we're working for the dark zone.
this side we need to work very gentle without any pressure now it's different thing as you can see they are a small one but we're working on a big one here we need to do the shadows on the top side how to do this we're going with small circular motions to do the first layer on all this part now i'm coming with blending stump and same with the small circular motions. I'm helping the graphite get into the tooth of the paper. That means the paper is not blank. So we have light gray inside, which is the first layer for the skin. Now slowly I'm coming to add the shadows the necessary shadows for the ring on the perfect direction To make the perfect image, same as 3D is, I'm pushing with blending stone the graphite from dark tone inside of the skin. We do the same with the same parts of the skin where the rings are. Now you see why I selected 8B grade to do a portrait using only one pencil because sometimes we have to deal with very dark tone. The best way to do very dark tone is 8B grade, quick and faster, also easy, you don't need too many layers. To make more realistic this part for the Bressler, I'm coming to add dark tone by outlining. Of course, now I need to be careful to respect the design of the Bressler. Always guys be careful where the shadows coming and respect same as reference photo is as I do now I'm layering from dark to light
as you can see the shadow make the drawing 3d so we need to respect the shadows but don't forget the shadow need to be blurred so I'm coming with blending stone and I blend this part for the shadowing I'm going with small circular motions and as you can see I'm pushing the graphite inside where the rest part of the skin is. As you can see, if I'm going with this type of blend by circular motions, I can also imitate the skin, building also the pores. Now I will fill the graphite for the rest part of the skin. So I can make the shadow of the Brasilia more visible. As you can see the position of blending stone is same as we shade with the pencil. Now I'm coming to add a little bit skin tone color on this side so we can see the design of the Brasilia. So we need to shade the first, we do the outlines for the hand. Not too many lines, not that much. Just a little bit. And with small circular motions, I'm adding the layers for the skin. Of course, always follow the reference photo for the skin tone, for the color. Even if it's with graphite pencils, you will see you need to work with more tones. As you can see, I have dark tone on the top, also on the bottom where the bones are, but everything in time we do step by step. This is 8B grade Faber Castell 9000. And I'm working on A3 size paper, Canson Bristol paper. I'm looking for the shadows. So I can go straight away with the shadows as well.
course the bottom side of the skin when you draw arms always is darker because that's the side where the shadow coming Now I will show you how to smooth this and also it's very important to know how to use toilet paper. My way to work with toilet paper is really easy and also very useful. Uh, actually we're looking for the small parts and also for the big one. Now it's not about the small part, we can shade very easy with a piece of toilet paper. So let's see my way to use toilet paper is bent in half. I bend again in half and as you know already loads of videos I show you guys I do this triangle you will see and you will find later if you follow my tips to draw this type of the triangle you can use for very small parts for the big ones and with small circular motions we smooth the graphite What I'm trying to do now, actually, I'm looking to push the graphite into the tooth of the paper. I need to color the paper. But make sure you do the same tone with the rest of the hand. We're not going darker, we're not going lighter. Depends on the shape of the hand is. I'm not happy for the side of the skin tone on the bottom, so I'm going to sharp again the pencil. This time I'm not using the second sharper. I'm going only with this. To add the perfect shadows. Now I want to show you a different type of shade with toilet paper. I have already this part of the triangle, but I need to bend again in half so I can, ha uh, uh, so I can find the half part of this. And now I do this to inside. And as you can see, I build a square. I bend the square in half and the toilet paper become hard, the same as the cotton bud. This is very important for me because I can do the shadowing very easy. I'm going on a dark tone first. Why I'm going first on a dark tone? Because I want to take a little bit graphite on the toilet paper. Now I have. I can work with this on the bottom side where the shadows are. And I will push and spread the graphite everywhere. But as you can see, the paper become very smooth, soft. With the same tone of the skin. Of course, we don't forget about the pouring. We need to pour all the rest of the hand. 
that will be another lesson. Today we take care of the jerrys, which is the bracelet. Now we come back for the bracelet because uh, I'm not happy with the design. Uh, we need to transform this in better design. For this, we need eraser. And I'm working with Tombo Mono Zero eraser. And I'm looking to highlighting, which is very important. I'm going forward and backwards so I can clean the graphite where I don't need. We need to work very gentle. And also during the process we need to clean eraser. For this process you can use electric eraser if you like it, but make sure you have something very good sharp. Now I'm coming very gentle into the shadows. As you can see, we have a little bit light shadows on the rings. So I need to keep the same design. And of course, for this, I need, I need very good sharp eraser. But this is not everything because I'm coming with another supplier that I can make very shiny part of the your rays or the metal things that will be till the end of the lesson which is closer I will resharp again eraser. I need very good sharp part. For this I'm using a small blade. And I have again sharp eraser. As you can see, this part for the detailing is very important. Make our drawing looking very realistic.
Look at that, so nice design we built already. Same as reference photo. With the details, with everything we need. If you learn how to work with pencils and suppliers, you can become professional artist very easy by my tips and techniques. We come back again for the pencils to do for the last time some shadows. Because we're talking about the dark tone. The dark tone needs to be dark tone. As you can see guys, if you respect the shadows for the every ring, we do very realistic design of the bracelet. With this type of the shadows, we will have a 3D work.
Amen. And now we have designed a bracelet, guys. And for the last time, we come in with the last touch. Before to do this, we clean a little bit of paper. We're working with a few suppliers, so we may have some mess. And I'm gonna do with jelly pen. This time number five, because I can use very sharp to shiny the metal. I'm working with this jelly pen. And I will show you how you can add very good shiny part for the metals. We need to follow the reference photo where the highlights, extra highlights are. And we're working with this. Look at that, how nice, shiny we can make now. Even on the small parts. Hopefully you love my lessons, guys. Uh, hopefully you're happy with the tutorials and with my techniques, guys. So that's the way to draw a realistic wrestler. See you next time with the next video, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Tak jako půjčit do půjčení.